Hello, Guy Solis. Um, okay, so I'm back. I uh, just, uh, you know, for about four hours. What I did with this stuff in my uh, first half of this video was I just put just a little bit of my hair. Um, not overdoing it. Uh, because it's, uh, it's marked uh, hold strength uh, three out of four, so I call that a medium, right? Um, the first time I used it, I used it kind of light like I did now, and I liked it. Uh, but when I put in more for better hold and better shape, uh, uh, I just had very negative results with it. Uh, it just, you know, my hair just it didn't stay up. It just kind of fell, and it was just too much. And, and so, but I think to use it uh, with uh, light application is good. Uh, I also was going to do a review on... Titty Boy. Uh, I have some videos. I don't know if I want to go through the trail of posting, but I used this uh, in the same fashion. I used it light. <clears throat> it seemed like it was pretty pretty nice. You know, held held your head, hair together uh, decently in a more natural uh, pose or natural uh, look. But when I uh, yesterday last yesterday I put in enough to slick my hair back really nice, and I put it up really good and. About four hours later, I was just, I couldn't handle the scent anymore. The scent was, I described it as a, uh, as an ice cream store where the electricity went out and no one went in there for a week or two and you walk in and open that door and you walk in that stench of that sweet and just, ah, just too much, man. So I got home. It took me a long time, it seemed like, to get home because... I just couldn't stand the scent anymore and I actually went out to a, a little restaurant to get a bite to eat during my shift and uh, I tipped the girl uh, and she came and started talking to me real friendly like right and you know what I was so self-conscious about the way my hair scent smelled I apologized for it just so she can know this is how, not how I smell you know so I got home and I washed it out in a stainless steel sink and the whole sink looked like just someone poured a glass of milk in it. It was just, you know, too much, man. So, uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this again. I'm kind of traumatized by it. <laughs> so, uh, so you know something? Uh, I guess I guess some of the better products that I've tried are like, um, are like the Slick Devil. This is Heavy Hold. Uh, this has got a nice vanilla vanilla uh, uh, tobacco flower scent it's got a nice scent it's got it's a heavy hold it's, it's really it's really pretty nice it kind of holds your hair down uh, the way I like it uh, the next one is the shiner gold uh, this is a nice product uh, I actually got another version of it on on uh, order uh, so it's be like a super heavy hold with a high shine so I really, I'm looking forward to that uh, the next one I like is the Dapper Dan because I'm a Dapper Dan man sometimes uh, and it's got a uh, nice lemony scent it goes kind of quick I think maybe maybe I should try to do some uh, pomade management like I do lather management probably right now um, my favorite is going to be the Iron Society uh, this is a water-based pomade has a real nice manly scent, uh, a little peppery, and you can smell it all day. It's not like uh, anything disgusting like that other uh, Teddy Boy was. This has got a, this has got a really, a really nice scent. Um, this is probably my favorite right here. Now going uh, more old school, uh, what I would say old school because it's the, one of the first pomades I tried. First pomades I tried was the, uh, was the uh, Suavecito. The lay right, and there's another one. So I bought this, recommended in a video. And the guy said it had it was heavy hold, and he liked it and everything. I didn't like it. I thought it was it was just you know same thing. You put in your hair, you slick your hair back, you do all the stuff, and your hair just starts to fall like this. And it's a it's a, got a really nice high sheen though. And I thought I was gonna like this. And the scent is uh is okay, uh, like a vanilla type of a putty type of scent. Uh, but I wouldn't use it. I, I would use that to top, uh, to top something. So I, what I did is I decided to buy the original Layrite because the scent profile 
is almost ex is almost exactly the same, so it would, wouldn't be, you know, uh, wouldn't be have any conflict. So what I'll do is I'll slick my hair back and get it how I like it, and I'll just get a little bit of that Lay Right uh, Super Shine and just kind of, and I'll be doing that one of these days soon. Uh, anyway, um, that's my experience, man, with the with these pomades. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't run out and buy Teddy Boy uh, because of the scent alone. And it doesn't even have a hold. Uh, let's see. I would uh, I would recommend trying the Dapper Dan. It's not that expensive. It's got a nice scent to it, uh, and it's got a uh, it's a medium hold. Uh, so I'd play around with it. I have uh, you know pretty heavy thick hair, so that contributes to some of the problems I've been having with some of these pomades. But uh, Anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I don't want to. I didn't want to have to post like a bunch of videos. Uh, so that's that's what's going on with all these with all these pomades, man. I will probably do. I'll probably do a review again on the lay right with the uh, super shine on top and the uh, the other super super what's it called? Uh, oh, I forget what it, what it's called. It's a shiner gold, the purple label, uh, heavy shine, heavy hold. All right, man, y'all take care. And remember, even if you don't have the best palm made in the world, it's still a good day for a shave. Take care, man. Bye.